Okay, orange squirrels, here we are on lesson 2.10, algebra, number patterns. The essential question is, how does place value help you identify and extend counting patterns? Shade the numbers in the counting patterns. At Blossom Bakery, 823 muffins were sold in the morning. In the afternoon, four packages of 10 muffins were sold. How many muffins were sold that day? So, let's look. Let's find the number 823. You will need a crayon, or actually, I guess you can just use your pencil. 823 muffins. Let's find the number 823. There it is. Let's go ahead and shade it. And let's count to see how many are in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good, it just follows a normal pattern. Oh, we can see that because we have 1, we have a 0, 1, and we have 1, 0, 10. Okay, so if there's 10 in a row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, would land us right underneath where we were before. And it says that there were four packages of 10 muffins sold. So if we've got one package of 10, that gets us here. Another package of 10, two. Another package of 10, three. Another package of 10, four. What number do we land on? That's right, 863. There were 863 muffins sold that day. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next page. Look at the digits in the numbers. What two numbers are next in the counting pattern? So we have 114, 214, 314, 414. What's changing every time? Which digit? Hundreds, tens, or ones? That's right, the hundreds digit is changing. First it was one, then two, then three, then four. What's gonna come next? Five hundred fourteen, and then six hundred fourteen. Which digit was it that changes by one each time? The hundreds digit. Look at the digits to find the next two numbers. 137, 147, 157, 167. Three, four, five, six. Well, the one stays the same. This following the pattern, three, four, five, six, seven, and the seven stays the same, 177. 137, 147, 157, 167, 177. What's next? 187. Here, on the first two, they were nice to you. They colored the numbers for you. Here they didn't. You have to actually think about it. 245, 345, 445, 545. What's changing? Once again, it's always the hundreds digit, always going up, just one more. So two, three, four, five. What's next? 600, still 45. And then 700, still 45. Now, most of these are going to be pretty, fairly straightforward for you, I think. But I want you to look at this one here. 484, 494. Here, it changed it from 8 to 9. Why on earth is it suddenly 0? Why do you think that's happening? Well, let's look. What if we just ignore the ones digit since that stays the same all along? 4, 4, 4, 4, 48, 49, 50, 51. Do you see that there's still a pattern? Even though it doesn't sound like it, 484, 494, 504, 514, it doesn't have that patterny sound to it, but there is a pattern if you study the digits. You've got 48 what's, 48 tens, 49 tens, 50 tens, 51 tens, and the pattern can st still keep going. This one is going to be similar. Easier, I think, but similar. Give it a shot. I can help you when I'm done with the other group.